All right, let's make some cupcake soaps. Make sure you can see everything here. Move this forward a little bit. All right, let's get some cupcake soaps made. We're going to be making some strawberry cupcake soaps. I'll show you what some of the little strawberries made of soap dough look like. Aren't they cute? And we'll use some sprinkles and um, get them all nice and summer ready. So, okay, so we're gonna do the frosting first because it takes a while to set up and it doesn't take that long to make and pour the cupcakes. So I'm just gonna have this ready for us. So I've got my lye water here in my cute little container. And I'll tell you what I'm using along the way. So let's get this started. I'm gonna put this on a low. stop for a second and put in my fragrance. So this is a strawberry champagne punch by Nature's Garden. And I'm just using um, a portion of it in the frosting and the rest will go into the cupcakes. It's just one ounce total. We're making a really small batch. I'm also going to put in some titanium dioxide because we want this to be nice and white. <laughs> We're going to put it in um, piping and we'll use that to do the tops. So this is the cupcake. So we're going to put our lye water in here. And this base will be red and then kind of see what I'm doing with the rest of it as we go. <laughs> suggest using it if you're looking to make something red especially during the holidays I really didn't work with anything very red um, until this past Christmas and that's when I discovered this color so I would suggest it and there's a link um, below all of my videos to nurture soap and I'll actually, um, you know, with this one, I'll just put it directly on the, the red that I'm using here. So if you're interested in it, you can just grab it. Okay, so let's pour this in. These are great for a garden theme. Um, you know, if you're having like some kind of shower or party and, you know, it's summer, you could do different soap cupcakes with the strawberries and the soap dough. Um, you could do a mix of the strawberries and the blueberries, and then I'm doing an orange, orange blossom next. So that would be a good one to add to it. Just 
just going to go back and top off some of the other ones. I hope you guys are ready to get some soaps iced. Icing is nice and thick, a little thicker than I usually use, but just fine. Just working on something else while I let this get ready. Just give it a stir. Actually, I think this will be really good to work with. Last time I worked with it a little too soon because I get impatient. Um, so you want to let it get to a certain thickness for sure like um, one of these pitchers at the Dollar Tree and just kind of sit your, I just bend mine at the bottom so it doesn't come out. Just makes it easier to fill the frosting bag. Get it as full as you can. Don't fill it too high because then it will be messy at the top and you won't have that, like that grip area that you need. Um, but this just makes it a lot easier. So I'm gonna just fill the bag here. And I'll have to do a second filling. When you do the second one, it's a little harder to kind of open up and everything, but all good. With each of these cupcakes, then we'll work our way around. Don't be afraid to try soap cupcakes. They're really fun to do. The frosting recipe that I give you in the mermaids video is super easy to use. Um, you know, it's a little different than the regular soap recipe, but you know, just try it out. It's super fun. Give me a little bullet right there, but it's fine. So let's take a look at um, the little soap dough strawberries that we have. Super, super cute. Again, I love them. Um, so all soap, and we're just gonna kind of pop one right on the top. So the little, you know, I, I hate messing up the little things on the top here, like the little top of the Dairy Queen type thing. Um, but you know, gotta do what you gotta do. So I'm just kind of sticking them in there enough that we can see most of the strawberry. And we have exactly 10. That's what we're working with for all of these. So I'm, I'm keeping some of them um, and I'm gonna do kind of a summer release for, um, I just do that out of my Facebook group. It's easiest. I'm doing quarterly sales there now. So we'll do um, kind of a summer release and I'm gonna have some of the soap cupcakes from each of the sets that we're doing available. And of course, a lot of other products too. So this is just like a cosmetic grade fun glitter that's used for makeup. And I have a red here and I'm gonna do, I was gonna do a little pink too, but I might not. I might just leave it all red. And then I'm gonna do like a white iridescent to kind of coat everything. Okay. I don't think we need that pink, so I'm gonna put these back. I have a little glitter basket over here that I just keep on my table. This again, um, also from Nurture Soap. So I get their, um, their iridescent glitters. I have a white one and a gold one that are more like dusting. Um, as far as the spray bottle goes, I thought it would make life so much easier. And to some degree it does, but I find that I'm always having to tap the bottom to keep it going. So the white, you know, the silvery white iridescent just gives the strawberries themselves a little bit of sparkle too. And then gives the whole thing a little sheen. Okay, so that is it. Easy peasy, we've got our next set. The next set will be orange blossom and then I have a honeycomb we're going to do.